Yo, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Evan and today we're hopping into another episode of Madden 21's No Money Spent, you guys. Uh, in today's episode, we actually got our weekend league rewards. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and open up those packs for you. Uh, we also did actually get Team of the Week and also a Derwin James vs. The World promo. So let me go ahead and show you uh, all the new stuff in the game. But yeah, obviously you guys, as you guys can see or from that, we got the Team of the Week promo, which is definitely, I don't like how they did that all this year. I think it's really bad, but that, that's for another time. And this uh, Derwin James vs. The World promo, which it's like if you watch the Twitch stream for like two hours every night for like uh, for a crap ton of months and you get a free 97 Derwin James, to be honest. I'm not going to do all that. If you guys want to do that, go ahead and do that. I just don't have the time. I really don't want to watch some Madden stream for two hours a night. So, to me, it's not that big of a deal, but you guys can certainly go ahead and do that. But, uh, the big thing to th for today's video is obviously going to be um, our weekend league rewards. And, obviously, the coin stack continues to grow, you guys. We're at 580k, and I have a big-time player who I'm going to be getting in uh, the next episode. So, I'm recording this on Tuesday. This is Wednesday's video, so you'll probably end up seeing that player being added to the squad on Friday, you guys. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be a big, big upgrade. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're going to go ahead and hop into my weekend league rewards. Um, now, you guys, you should most definitely take the quick sells, but because I'm doing this for YouTube, <laughs> I'm taking the packs. Um, for solo battles, I took the coins, but... I'll go ahead and open these. If this, I, if I get nothing from the, uh, I'll just open up all the packs. I really want to take the, the coins, but it, it is what it is. Cause like, that's 20k from the midfield. If I'm, you know, if I don't get anything good out of these, Tyrod, and that's my guy right now. Obviously, Chargers fan got that one and no feeling. Uh, oh, Chase Young, he might go for some. So th I mean, that's not, that that one's not awful, but. Uh, most of these just aren't the best and definitely I'm gonna stress this over and over again Please you guys take the quick sells um, Since this is like my first week in the rewards. I'm gonna be taking the packs obviously But probably after this I'm gonna be taking the quick sells all the time uh, I just thought you know for the first week in the rewards. I might as well open up the packs for you guys So if we can pull an elite that'd be amazing. We don't but we did get four gold So, you know, I think that that's a W within itself, but the red zone packs are obviously the big packs, you guys. Um, once again, I'll say this continuously. Please, please, please take the quick sells. But, like I said, because I'm doing YouTube, I, I gotta take the packs. So, hopping into the first red zone pack. As long as we get one elite, I think I'll be content with it. If we don't get an elite, though, that's gonna be an issue. As we don't. Am I shocked? No. My pack luck is absolutely terrible. So, that sucked, but... Obviously hopping into the final weekend league pack, uh, red zone, obviously. And one thing I forgot to say, you guys, before I go ahead and open up this pack, my record was 13 and 12, but I was disconnected 11 times. You heard me 11 times. I'm not sure if it was my internet or what. I've never had this kind of issue in weekend league ever. I've like gotten DC maybe once or twice the entire weekend league throughout the entire year last year, but I got this DC 11 times this weekend. So. Hopefully that was like a across the board thing where people were getting DC'd for no reason and maybe that'll be fixed for next weekend because I went 13 and 12 so it, it definitely sucked but obviously nothing could have done about that as we do get I guess you could say it's, it, it's an 80 but definitely a smaller one so we didn't get anything too big from our weekendly reward packs um, but yeah I, I can double check I'll, I'll check to see if any of these cards have any value guys and I'll let you know uh, if not, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, play some house rules for you guys. So before we actually go ahead and hop into the uh, house rules games, you guys, I took all like the silvers and the golds and I put them into the exchange set. So maybe it works out. I think I got about uh, maybe 25k back from all the players that actually sold for a decent amount of coins. So I mean, that's not bad. We've got a power up here, which is going to be good. To Todd Gurley, I mean, he just got the, uh, the ultimate kickoff card, so... That could definitely be worth something, but obviously the exchange set, you guys, uh, if you guys haven't seen the episode, um, I think it's episode three, I talked about the exchange, exchange set uh, coin making method. It definitely works, uh, especially when you're pulling power-ups like this, 70-74, Patrick card, maybe not exactly what you want. Maybe it is, though, because it's a fullback. Sometimes those definitely go for a good amount. As we get another power-up, 
Anthony Costanzo, I don't think that one goes for too much. But as you guys can see, these are obviously big time coin profits. As we make three in a row, Trent Brown, I think his might be going for something. But see, this is why this exchange set is really good, you guys, because you're able to get players like, uh, you know, those power ups and even some of these goals because of the Team Diamond sets or whatever. They go for a lot. As we got John Brown and Jesse Bates. And then we also actually have a 80 to 82 overall as it's a um, Jordan Hicks who we already pulled and he went for like 16k so it's not a bad pull. Boys, we just pulled it. I didn't, his power up goes for 30k? That's insane. I didn't think it was going to be that good but say less. See, I'm telling you guys, this exchange set, set is literally one of the best coin making methods. You guys, I'll put the in the top uh, top right I think it is. The link straight to that episode. Go watch it. Like I said earlier, you guys, we would be hopping into some house rules gameplay, and that's exactly what we are doing here as we start this game off on defense, and it also with the big stop. I would be showing you guys like uh, basically like a full game, like a regular game of uh, like the weekend league qualifiers, but I did them last night, and I went three and zero. So, like I was saying, like in that outro for. Uh, of the last episode, I feel like when I play, I have some kind of pressure on me, so I'm going to do my best to kind of get rid of that, um, and just kind of play calm, because, you know, you know, we, we don't, you don't have to play crazy, you know, and I just feel like I kind of pressure myself, but, uh, this guy looks like he's going to be leaving, so, first game with, you got a dub. Bye, have a great time. Once again, we're starting another game off on defense, and my guys got some Justin Herbert action going on. Definitely don't mind that. Um, I actually, like, from an NFL perspective, I'm definitely curious to see if uh, they maybe make the move to Justin Herbert over Tyrod Taylor sooner than later. Obviously, my Chargers went one and zero. Oh, uh, hopefully, you're, you're, everyone else's NFL team did well. Make sure you guys let me know how your team did this past weekend and how you guys think you'll do for this upcoming weekend. But we got ourselves a second down and eight here. Obviously, uh, my main user, Troy Apke, as he dumps it underneath to Ed McCaffrey, and he's going nowhere. We do indeed got a fourth down and ten for my opponent here. So far, defense has played pretty well. He's going to go with that vert look as he throws it up to my again. user, Troy Apke. No, sir, my friend. Bye. Have a great time. Well, so far, you guys, we've had a pretty good start to this house rules. Obviously, two win or two games, two rage quits. Uh, so hopefully, we can look to keep that up here as he dumps that thing off in the flash to Andre Johnson. He got that dumb animation for the first. One thing I forgot to ask you guys: Would you guys rather see um, a weekend league gameplay for Friday's video or a regular head-to-head -head seasons game? Uh, please make sure to let me know so I can, you know, kind of do uh, what uh, you guys want to see because I'll definitely do that. Runs with Lamar. And I hit stick and please let me pick it up. Let's go. We got that fumble. Just house this thing, Ronnie. Ah, I was going to say, I would love to house that thing and end it, but uh, is this one? Is he not going to quit? Am I going to finally play offense? I spoke too soon. That's a third rage quit. Bye. Have a great time. We've got another game where we're starting things off on defense. That's four in a row. And that's crazy. We haven't even touched the ball on offense yet, but he goes to the stretch and he got about like four or five there. Second down and 10 here for my opponent. He finally passes the ball after running stretch like a billion times in a row. I'm going to click on Jack Youngblood. Try and make something happen. We get up with your Davius White. Come on. Bring this thing back. Ah, oh, come on. And we are we going to get a fourth rate. That's four rage quits. That's four rage quits, you guys. We haven't even touched the ball once. Not once. Bye. Have a great time. It's about stinking time that we start a game off on offense we've obviously played four games four rage quits all of them on the road and in, in this house rules you start when you're on the road you play defense first and you know people just leave after that first overtime if they can't get a score so we really haven't played all that much but we're going to start things off with the russell wilson scramble hopefully you know it's weird like I, I know i mentioned this earlier but like i seem to find a groove offensively when i'm not playing on camera which of course that that's when it has to happen right but I'm going to look for someone to get open. No one's really open. I'm just going to have to scramble here with Russ. Is he, he, he's getting a lot of yards on the ground. But yeah, like I was saying, you guys, I think one of the biggest things, and I've said this a bunch of times this episode, but just feeling like I'm under pressure, it doesn't exactly feel like it's a defensive issue. I feel like a lot of my problems start happening, you know, offensively. For some reason, I just kind of just don't play well. So 
Hopefully we we're able to kind of get out of that, you know, pressure, pressure stuff. As we're gonna run with a screen pass to Diggsy. Come on, make your way in the end zone. Let's go, Diggs. I found this new screen play in my playbook, and you maybe see me running a little bit more, because I definitely like it. Perks of being on your phone during a play, you know, they get a 20 yard completion. First down and goal here for my opponent. He's, he's in like a pistol gun bunch, or like a pistol bunch look as easy running room there for Adrian Peterson. This is also a big reason why you guys should be going for that two point conversion because it forces your opponent to be in a spot where they also have to go for it and he's not gonna get there. Leroy Glover making that stop and we went five and oh, so not bad at all. Well, you guys, the gameplay may not have been that entertaining because we got like four rage quits and then we obviously got that one game where it's like an actual game. But with that being said, I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Be on the lookout for Friday's episode because we do have a big time player getting added to the squad. Also, make sure to drop below if you guys want to see a head-to-head -head seasons game or weekend league gameplay for Friday's episode. Um, but yeah, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to uh, smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you're new and hit that bell notification to be notified for future No Money Spent episodes. With that being said, it's been your boy, and I'm out. Peace out, you guys.